This is the tense moment when officers from Leicestershire Police's Rhodes Policing Unit find a thief who had pulled a delivery driver out of his delivery van before driving off with his vehicle. The theft had occurred less than 25 minutes before police found the stolen van. Behind the wheel of the stolen van was this individual, 22-year-old Jackie O'Neill. He was spotted by CCTV operators moments after stealing the van in Linney Road, Leicester. During the pursuit which followed, O'Neill tried to ram the pursuing officers after also putting innocent members of the public at risk, owing to the manner of his appalling driving. That train's gone, guys. Stand by. Yeah, just failing to stop. It's 20 to 30. It's a wet road. He's low risk. So it's all right. He's shooting at Right, yeah, wrong side of the road, on the way, which is a high risk, low traffic, stand by. We've gone right, 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 Halifax Drive, generally towards Beaumont Lee's Way, correct side of the road. Momentarily, uh, medium risk, wrong side of the key left bollards. Back side, back to the correct side of the road, back down to low risk. 30, no traffic, no pedestrians. And right, stand by, reverse ramp. Box it, box, box it, box it. Right, you're under arrest for theft of motor vehicle. Do not say anything. Aggravated to what? Do not say anything. And may I have a defence if you don't mention when questions to me later on in court. And if you do say, maybe give me an evidence. Right, get up. Thankfully, no police officers or members of the public were injured during the pursuit. In March, O'Neill pleaded guilty to robbery, dangerous driving, driving while disqualified and driving without insurance. He was sent to prison for a total of just under three years. But what do you think of this sentence? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, any comments which are sent in with a super thanks always guaranteed a response from a member of our team. DC Matthew Harbert, officer in the case, said the victim in this case was getting ready to go to work when O'Neill opened the door to the van, pulled him to the floor and drove off. He carried out a number of dangerous manoeuvres while being pursued by officers in a bid to avoid being caught. Even when he was surrounded, he reversed the van into two police cars in one last attempt to escape. Luckily, the victim in this incident was not injured and his vehicle was able to be returned to him. It is thanks to the efforts of the CCTV operators and the officers deployed to the incident that O'Neill was caught so quickly. I am pleased he has admitted his actions and has now been brought to justice. Considering the risk O'Neill posed to innocent members of the public, it does make you wonder if three years is enough of a deterrent, especially when you consider that he could be out in half that time. And do you think fleeing drivers who damage police vehicles should be made to pay for the damage they cause, rather than the damage being paid for by the hard-working taxpayer. As ever, let us know in the comments below. And remember, we'll always reply to any comments which are sent with a super thanks. A big thanks to our channel members for helping to support our team of former emergency services personnel. YouTube's channel membership is basically their version of Patreon. And if something that you're interested in doing, then we'll leave a link in the comments below. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got loads of other videos for you, including our Police Pursuit playlist. You'll see a link for them on the screen in front of you now.